excited. So I, I did your job for you. Mm -hmm. I did your job for you. Yeah, you already did it. I um when we first got married, oh, shoot, did I break he, this thing? He took me on a cruise and uh, on a Norwegian yeah. and one of the stops was uh, Jamaica, Playa del Carmen. I mean, no. Uh, Casualness leads to casualties. Grand, Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman. Grand got beer on there, huh? Yeah, yeah just give it. It's only one way. I know that, come on. You can't walk across. So, Humberto. Hola. Hey. How are you? Tell us about you and what you do here in Puerto uh, Vallarta area. I'm Humberto. I'm just starting with my transportation and tours company. But you know what? I was talking with uh, Mr. Cor uh, Dale and he said like, a, and he like, it's not just transportation. We are more like a, a personal concierge because we can do everything that you may need for your uh, uh, vacations and we can go above and beyond everything at your convenience now what what he said one thing that he said he does too he got a group of what seven women from canada or six seven yes, seven so um they're supposed to go to Matsalan. Yeah. so he, he's renting a big vehicle for them go check out uh but not only that communication of if you can't speak spanish it helps of course have some bilingual i can't speak spanish um, but a very, it's very useful to have a, a local person to guide the way. Now, depending on what you like to do, you may want to be in the cuts. You may not do all the touristy stuff. You want, you may want to be with the locals. So that's kind of the, the idea that you may want to do. Second time to. Sayulita. Not too long ago, I was watching a show called Mexico Beach Life. Not Mexico Beach Life Club. It's on like a HGTV. You can see it on YouTube. But they always come to Sayulita. So I'm on a hunt for some beer, some cervezas right now the beach ain't the best
I think they got beer over there. You wanna get your pineapple? He said the guy does the pineapple with you like cocktail and fruit and something like that. That one. Yeah, yeah, I, just wanna, I just want to get a beer. Will you lay something, man? Something for him? No, we can share. What? I don't want. To, I just want. I want a beer. Uh, and now they are trying to get it. It's post. Ah. And they are selling uh, trash bags and the people to help and everything. Oh, I didn't know you were going away. ¿Qué pasa? Hola, señor. Hola. Hey, you got a negro modelo? No. Solo pacífico. Hey. Y corona. Negro modelo. All right. Do you want a beer? También heladas. Eso sí. What? Pero solo pacífico y corona. What do you want? I want air conditioning. All right. Well, let, me get, let me get one. Let me get one. And then we get another one there. Just one pacífico. That's what I was thinking when you said that. Hey, we like it. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this is first. None of them have one. Yeah. Contact you. You didn't say that when I filmed you earlier. Yeah, actually, mostly through Facebook. I also I always leave my contact, my personal phone number. You can send me WhatsApp through for WhatsApp business. And coming soon, we're gonna be at the TripAdvisor in our own website. So for now, what do they look up to find you? What's your WhatsApp, and how do they find you on Facebook? It's like my personal profile, Humberto Aguilar Moreno, or Riviera Go Transportation and Tours. Riviera Go Transportation and Tours. Yes. And then what's your WhatsApp? Uh, 322-294-5681. And don't forget to add plus 52 for the country code. So let me tell y'all, um, when I travel, my wife and I, we travel, I always get a private driver. Um, done in multiple countries. So on this one, what I did is, I ended up, um, I'm a part of a Facebook group that's everything to know about Puerto Vallarta. It's about 100,000 people on there. And um, I have already knew what I wanted to do. I'm very detailed in that regard. The other stuff I'm not detailed, but when it comes to planning trips, I'm like on point. So I ended up looking at Facebook and then I went into the group. I searched the group transportation. 
and within transportation, I saw a variety of entries. Humberto was one of those, and uh, very prompt. So I got the information, compared the prices, reasonable prices as well. But when you hire a driver, especially when they're bilingual, it's not just the transportation, but it can be a store they may tell you. So right now we are in Sayulita, not knowing where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do. All I know is I wanted a beer. So we're gonna walk around the beach and we walked up this little area over here. And he's like, oh, I like this restaurant over here. And um, never knew about this restaurant, of course. So anyhow, there's a multiple facets of it. It, it ain't just um, here in Puerto Vallarta or Mexico. So Salita is probably about an hour from Puerto Vallarta. So the restaurant's named Don Pedro's. Don Pedro's. Does it say it on there? No. I think I got it when I walked in on the video. So when we finish this, we're gonna walk through Sayulita, then we're gonna go to San Pancho. So this is called Thai ceviche. Shrimp tacos. Potato chips and guacamole. Yeah. About to dig in. You have to have one. I can't. I can't. Oh, no, we're going to share. So we can just walk this all way. In the next street, the famous street, Pasquale, the colorful one. Yeah, everybody wants a picture. Oh, that, I saw that. We drove by. You gotta lead the way, man. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Am I going right, going straight? What are we doing? Right. Yeah, because the other one is not uh Yeah, basically these are the most, the two popular streets where you can find a shop. Similar to the shirt you got, Sabrina. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Playa, Playa de Carmen, Cabo, what did you get? We got a, a, a similar shirt. Yes. But she did. See how it's like very bright colors? It's not a shirt. Tank top. Like okay. Well, a long tank top. I was at the airport, I think Cancun Airport. It was somewhere. Oh, you got it. Well, This is the place. Why? Why so? What's, what's so special about it? Um, I don't know exactly. Maybe for a call or everything. But if you go to Google and look for Sayulita, the first picture that you're gonna find is something like this. Uh -huh.
walk around and we can leave. Go to San Pancho. Walk around. This is the plaza. This is the plaza, yeah. All right. Flying all over, so you need to take a picture oh, of the people. Oh, the drone. Oh, the drone guy. Yeah. I need to find someone like that to do the resorts. You would think it'd be a, um, a weekend. Everybody just hanging out, not working, no job. No. Today's Monday. I know that. Yeah. You would think they'd be working or something. <laughs> and they're not all tourists, are they? If you are going to some pants now, I, I can bring the car and pick you up right here, so you don't have to uh, come back working. All right. It's like a three blocks. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna walk around. We'll meet you right here. Yeah, That's I'm gonna do. Gonna meet you. All right. Okay. We came with Val and Earl. We came had a beer or a margarita last time over here. You went where? It was over here. I think. That wood fire burning. Yeah. Barbecue grill. Here's a church. Now it's got churches and plazas in Mexico. That was a good uh, shrimp taco. Wasn't it like tempura? The batter. Yeah, it they had like beer, yeah. like a. Yeah. It was good. Little, like there those, were fat shrimps. Yeah. What is that called? Like yeah, tempura. How your mom like hers? Uh, Fish and chips. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a walk, babe. Come back around. Do one lap. You gonna stay here? No grasses, no grasses. Hello.
Gracias. Es un nice video. Es un nice video de Town of Sayulita and the Good Line. No, gracias. Actually, I don't remember where we had those drinks. Watch out for the ground.